For the last six weeks, we've been in non-stop noisy cities. That was so good. So we packed our bags, got into the car, and went straight to the mountains of Brazil. rental car couldn't get up the hill, so we're getting a special ride. Leslie uh, helped us out a ton to get up here at this beautiful cabin. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Can I put the groceries down so I can actually enjoy it? Oh, oh wow. Hang on, I gotta take Tara off my muddy it. shoes. Yeah, take them off. It smells so good. Wow. This is gorgeous. This is incredible. Holy moly, this is beautiful. Wow, oh man. Oh, I'm so excited. We can't, all right, so we can't wait to show you around this place, but we've got to get our stuff off the porch. So give yeah. us one second. It's so cold. <laughs> it's oh cold. My God. We came from Rio, <laughs> we're in nice. shorts, flip flops, and then we're up here and it's like 55 degrees and rain. every rain. Oh, it's very moody, which. <gasps> If you've ever been to Brazil or you think of Brazil, I don't think of like a this. fog playing in the mountains. No, this is gorgeous. This is incredible. I can't, I want to show everybody everything. Okay. Oh, okay, let's, Wait, let's get our stuff, Mark. Last night we got in. Oh, we're talking. I thought this. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> so last night we got in and it got too dark to show you a tour. So it's the next day, and now we're at this beautiful cabin. <laughs> Kramer's here too. Kramer's here too, and we're gonna show you around just this. We're just gonna show you around this beautiful cabin. Welcome to our little A-frame here in the Brazilian mountains. Come on in.
So we found this cabin on Airbnb. We saw it and we said, we have to go there. It's up in the Brazilian mountains. It's about three hours outside of Sao Paulo. So this is a side that we didn't even really know existed in Brazil. You know the Amazon and you know the beaches, but then there's just these incredible, beautiful mountains that are very tall. <laughs> and we saw this cabin with these amazing views and we really wanted to make it a part of our trip to come all the way out here. So we did. For the last six weeks, we've been in major cities. First, we were in Mexico City for a month and we've been in Rio de Janeiro for the last two weeks. And we are now arrived at this little country mountainous haven of an A-frame cabin that has been the perfect breath of fresh air. It feels like this little quiet paradise compared to the noise and the hustle and the bustle of these major cities we've been in. We love city life, but we also really love escaping it. So this little A-frame cabin, it's one of several different cabins they have on their property called Nomad Place. That's the name of the company who owns these. But this one that we're staying in, it has a queen size bed up in the loft and it looks as if they have a pull out sofa, maybe a full size. So if you have an extra person or two sleeping with you, you could, or staying with you, you could use that. But this is a relatively basic cabin, but it's equipped with everything you need. We've absolutely loved our time here so far. So it doesn't have AC and it doesn't have heat, but we don't really need AC because it's got this amazing airflow through the place and it feels perfect up here in the mountains. But if it does get too cold, it has a wood burning stove, which is, I think, so special and so cozy. So behind me is the kitchen slash dining area. It's got a propane stove, convection oven, fridge, freezer, sink, and lights. They've equipped it with everything you need. So all the dishes, they even have a fondue pot. They have coffee makers, espresso maker, pretty much everything you can need and more. We knew it was gonna be a good ways out of town to stay here, and so we got groceries before we came in, and I'm so glad we did, because it's further out than what we expected. It is a hike to get out here if you're gonna stay here, but 100% worth the trip. So bring your groceries before you, <laughs> before you get out here. Be prepared to just hang out and relax and just sort of de-stress and disconnect for a little bit. I say disconnect, but the Wi-Fi is surprisingly fast here and I have cell service. So I guess it's up to you whether or not you want to use that, but if you want to get some work done like we are, it's a great place to sort of feel like you're away from the world, but also get some work done in quiet for once. <laughs> and then there's two sofas. Kramer is lounging on one right now. And then the other one is the pull out, which is by the front door. Right here in the middle of the house is the stairs. I don't know if they're stairs or a ladder. Kramer did manage to get almost all the way up on his own. I wouldn't recommend it. He did that when we weren't looking. <gasps> Kramer, you want you want to think about what you're doing first? Up in the loft, there's a queen size bed. There are lights, nightstands, outlets to plug in, everything. And then there's this really cute triangle shaped window above the vet bed that does open and allows for great airflow. So we've pretty much left the glass back door open the entire time we've been here just because it allows for really nice airflow. And then opening the window above the bed just sort of has this cross breeze ventilation. It feels really nice up here. The queen size bed, very comfortable. We both slept like a rock last night. I don't know if it was just the quiet of everything or if it was the bed itself, but for whatever reason, we woke up feeling very rested this morning. So the feature I saw online and I said, that's what I'm gonna need after a busy couple of weeks is a giant bathtub. And not just a bathtub, but a bathtub with a view. I mean, how much more perfect does it get? And they do have a shower if you're more of a shower kind of person, but I love a good bath after a long day or if it's cold and it has been cold when we got it for yesterday, it was like 55 and raining. So it was chilly. And I said, I really want a hot bath right now. And I just relaxed in there and watched Netflix and it was beautiful. <laughs> it, just, it was perfect. I keep saying perfect. But anyway, so this is the bathroom. I thought that when we booked this place, my favorite thing was gonna be the giant bathtub with the view. And then we got here and my favorite thing is by far the back deck with the seats and the view. It's just perfect. It feels so nice out here. It's overcast today and the view is just it's so much more incredible than any photo I saw of the place before we got here. Like I don't think you can fully grasp, especially the wide angle lens that we're using right now, just how large these mountains are and how far they go. 
but it's just beautiful out here. And they've done such a beautiful job with the property. There's lavender and there's other flowers and I saw vegetables growing over there and so they're using the land and just makes this really fun, I guess countryside vibe about it, but it's amazing. Brazil is so much more diverse. It's so much more than Copacabana Beach. I love it. I am so in love with Brazil right now. I fall in love with every place I go, but Brazil especially is gonna stand out as one of my favorites, I think. Kramer, Kramer's really loving it too. So we had our coffee out here this morning and we just hung out and it was a little chilly this morning, but we moved the chairs into the sunlight and it felt perfect. We just watched the sun as it rose behind us and then just it lit up the valley and it was so pleasant. I, I just sort of was one of those moments where you just kind of decompress for a second. Just, especially after being in a smoggy city for the last six weeks, coming out here and being able to see for miles and miles, it's just it's refreshing. I don't have to stay in fancy places. I have to stay in clean places. So every time I get somewhere, I kind of walk around and make sure it's a clean kind of place. Like that's how I judge a place. And this was clean. This, this more than met my expectations. So thank you Nomad Place for providing a place that I could rest in cleanliness. <laughs> All right, let's go outside and we'll show you guys the little barbecue area. And if you have a dog that you're traveling with, it is pet friendly. Kramer is 100% welcome. And as I was reading the guest book, they have a little guest book log you can sign. There have been plenty of other pets here. You can't tell, I mean, the place is in great shape, but Kramer's not the first dog to visit in that place. There's a fire pit and an axe if you wanna cut more wood. And then there's a little grill. So if you wanna cook out, you guys can cook out with a view. And there's lavender, so it smells so nice out here. It just smells fresh. And then I didn't notice this on the way in, but Chris came back inside and said, hey, they have a store on property, so if we need something, we don't have to go back to town, which is like half an hour from here at least. They have a little store right next to our cabin. This is such a nice feature. I didn't realize they had as much as they have. <laughs> so town is a little ways from here, and it's down some really windy roads and they actually have a little store that they leave the door open on and it has a card machine. So if you want to buy food here, you can buy food and wine and coffee and then they have their hat and their cutting board or charcuterie board and robes. I mean, they have a lot of things. I open the freezer up and they have breads and looks like a homemade pizza in there. and ice if you need it. So they have pretty much all the essentials you're gonna need. If you forgot something, they have it here. They even have rice and they, you know, they had those, um, they have a fondue pot in our cabin and they actually provide little fondue things, little kits and marshmallows and so cool. And I when I say provide, you have to buy it. They have prices on it so you know how much to purchase it for. But this is really cool. What a great feature. So you don't have to go all the way out because Chris and I, we didn't realize how far it was going to be to get here. And then we got out here and we said, oh shoot, do we buy enough groceries for the entire time we're here? Because now that we're here, we don't want to leave. It's so beautiful. Like once you're here, you just want to stay here. And they have stuff that if we didn't bring enough, we could totally have pizza for dinner or fondue or whatever else we want. This is great. Two days was <laughs> not enough here. This was so relaxing. I wish we had known that it was gonna have such good internet because we could have stayed up here longer to work and stuff. Yeah, it's whether you're looking for a place to work or if you want a nice secluded cabin in the Brazilian mountains, mm -hmm. this place is legit. And it's a hike to get out here. It really is, but there's a lot to do in the area, like hiking and mountain biking and that kind of thing. Very relaxing. If you're in the Sao Paulo or Rio, era, Rio area, I'd recommend it. So we're gonna get in the car and we're going to our next place. Let's go. For behind the scenes and extra content, you can head on over to our Patreon community. Otherwise, be sure to follow on Instagram or like and subscribe here. It really helps creators like us.